one started again I'm going to use an RNF pigment stick in black but I'm going to leave some of what I've dug up at least for now and I can just lightly roll this pigment stick, blend it so that it becomes just like paint. And I'm going to dig in a little more. having fun because these are all just experiments. It's kind of how to give you and, and remind myself how to attack something that you don't like that's got a lot of stuff on it that didn't work out so much. But how the stuff has worked out is that it's provided this great um, base. Lots and lots of layers. So now I'm adding warm uh, transparent earth orange unite this part at the bottom. Just a lot of experimenting here. So I like this little bit of sort of a violet there that shows through. So I'm going to take this down a bit. See if anything good comes from it. Definitely looser. So let's do some texturing on this. I'm not adding a lot of other texture because this painting has so much on it already from all the different incarnations it's had. So this is a, a very warm area. There are just these tiny bits of uh, lavender in there. So I put just a couple of little light areas there and I'm going to let it dry. But what I find when I try to redo things is that it's really important to play and not be too attached. Let's see what happens if we try a bit of this very light lavender mixture. I really like uh, pieces with contrast, even though they may have very kind of subtle colors. Now, somewhere along the line, I lost the black circle that I had. I didn't really necessarily want to lose it, but it went. So, um, let's see what else is possible. Uh, 
I have to get kind of wild and then tone down. Okay, I've been futzing around a little bit too much here and as a result uh, I've become stymied so I turned the piece around and it gives a whole different feeling. So I am mixing up a bit of black. bringing back some of the gold so that it's not so all alone there. And just one part of the painting. to bring this orange back over in the middle. Then let's keep turning. So as you turn you make changes. And sometimes when you think you're almost finished, as I did a bit ago, you decide you're not. And I think that's interesting. Let's see what happens when we use a bamboo skewer to make some more marks. Marks are fun to experiment with because they're so easy to change if you don't like them. And easy to add to if you want more. I'm back with this piece that you've seen me working on. And it's pretty well set up so I can work a bit more on it. I really like what's here but I want to try a few adjustments. Here I'm trying a little bit of brighter ochre paint, but I don't want to lose all that nice gold that's underneath it. So I'm going to see if I can just use some of this. And I want this side to look striated as well. So I'm making some incisions and I'm going to use the wetted up paper and roller technique. And that's good because that has that same age look now as the other side. So let's see what else we can add to try a bit of collage on this piece to add something different. So first I'm putting the clear cold wax underneath where I'm going to try the collage. And I want to use enough so that the paper, this is vintage rice paper I believe, I want to make sure that it can stick down. Okay, I like that effect and highlights the vintage quality of it. And I'm going to add a little of this gold also. 
and work that piece in a little bit. In the spirit of making the collage an integral part of the piece, I'm going to play with softening. So I tried one spot there already, and I like the way that magenta adds dimension so that you have more than just a couple or three colors happening. So I'm going to soften this a bit with a piece of tissue paper. And leave it for now. I can always soften it in a bit more if I want to after the paint is somewhat dry. So I'm finding this, it's okay, but it's a little tame. And uh, sometimes the only way I can get things to a place where I like them is to sort of risk everything. So I'm going to do that here. some marks. Well, I think I really like it now. Um, I may try just one more little thing. Sometimes that's not always good to do, but let's just try it. There. Okay. For me, it's finished, and I think it's important to note that there are several other places along the way that it could be finished. I could decide to keep going. So, uh, I want to say thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you later.